Welcome back, Homesteader family. So here we're on the top of the dam here at the pond before it gets fixed. And basically, like I said, the water is going to pour right behind this feed over. And right here, approximately, is going to be where the water wheel is going to be and the cinder block work that I'm going to do. Now you're thinking, yeah, this is a lot of dirt that I need to fill in and rock. Well, that's no problem because as you can see with the truck, the ground goes so high up and it's a good six to 10 feet in places on that whole bank of the driveway. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring the equipment right here and dig in to the ground above where that tarp is uh, for the pond liner. And I wanna go along the entire ridge going down over to where it drops down into that valley and I want to cut all this ground down about two, two and a half feet from the pond. So that way that will give me all the dirt I need to go ahead and backfill this area, <clears throat> excuse me, and get everything set for the dam. I also want to, the dam ends here, so you can see it, where it didn't wash out here, but where it's still safe is probably a good maybe 10 feet about maybe 11 feet and I'm gonna extend that out probably another 10 feet so this way this whole dam is about 20 foot and then I also want to raise the dam uh, about 12 inches so that way the water is covering the pond liner there and underneath the duck house here you can see the pond liner and having the spillway here this will be the low part so all the water will come right here go down, produce electricity, and I'll be golden. So just another part of what I'm getting ready to excavate so you can see what I got in mind. So look at that bank, good 10 feet, it's all gonna get chopped down. And then I'll also be working the road that way. So I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free, that's the only way to be.